one of the smartest characters in the Marvel Universe is ready to make her debut as the lead character of her own series, Ironheart. But not before she has already been confirmed to appear in the upcoming Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. With Wakanda itself being one of the many allies Riri has on her journey to become one of the best superheroes out there, especially at a young age. Get ready fans, as there's a new kid on the block, and her name is Riri Williams, aka Ironheart which has been confirmed to be getting her standalone series on the Disney Plus streaming platform. The news came at San Diego Comic-Con in 2020 when among the many projects of Marvel Studios that were scheduled for the near future, Ironheart also came through, with one of the newer Marvel Comics heroes Riri Williams getting her on-screen debut. And before we move forward with the series and what it will bring to the table, we should note that according to many sources, Ironheart will make her debut before her solo series in the form of a cameo in Marvel's Armor Wars, where she'll get her first introduction to the MCU and then us learning what makes the young superhero tick. The series is set to include six episodes, with the events of Ironheart being closely connected to the Armor Wars series. And seeing the history of Riri Williams in the comics, you shouldn't be surprised why that is. The series itself has been set to tell the story of what happens after Riri Williams makes her own version of the suit already being taught by the late Tony Stark within the MCU, and Stark's AI being the one to take Riri under his wing, much like how Tom Holland's Peter Parker aka Spider-Man was. In the comics, the story was somewhat different, with Riri becoming Tony's replacement after he fell into a coma, with the two already close friends. It was Iron Man tech and Tony Stark's encouragement in the first place that got Riri to pursue a life of heroism. What is it like to take over from Tony Stark? Part of the journey is the end. So with all of that said, given Stark's death in Avengers Endgame, a new heroine will not likely meet him in the live action, with Williams possibly working alongside different members of the Avengers, with our guest being Don Cheadle's war machine, who we think will also become Riri's mentor to some extent, which is also the reason why the two series we spoke about before will be so closely connected. The other important thing in Riri's life was also Natalie, her best friend, a character that will also bring Lyric Ross to the MCU, with her being the one to portray the role who will accompany Dominique Thorne in the role of the lead character. And the last actor to be confirmed as of yet is Anthony Ramos, a confirmed member who has yet to be put in the role by Marvel, with a company being tight-lipped about his character, which may suggest that the series of Ironheart could also bring one of the few new big baddies within the MCU. One of the few reasons why we think Marvel Studios are keeping the character a secret, this series will probably release in 2023, with December 2022 giving us the first trailer for the series, a rumor that has been gearing up to become a reality. And I am Iron Man. This brings us to the next topic. December 2022 is also very close to the release of Black Panther Wakanda Forever, which is yet another project in which we might see Ironheart make her debut with her having somewhat of a big impact on the MCU's events to come. An adaptation of a story in the Marvel comics where Shuri actually meets with Riri joining forces to take down the Ten Rings organization. However, the two geniuses struggle to see eye to eye, with the high intelligence levels playing a huge role in the entire conflict. And with knowing how Shuri in the MCU is, we're not at all surprised if we see the duo in action, with both young guns seeing the bigger and growing as people. The character is fairly new to the Marvel Universe, with her debut coming in 2015. However, the action started right away as Riri was able to start her crime-fighting career at a very young age. First facing off against ninjas by an inhuman with the ability to control technology, then becoming a part of the champions we mentioned before, and then faced formidable foes in Thanos and Man-Thing. However, we are interested in some other supervillain, Midnight's Fire, the one Riri takes interest in when she returns to Chicago in her solo adventures. Midnight is part of the Ten Rings, a group to which she invites Riri. With Riri's refusal of the offer, Riri goes on to track Midnight together with the help of the unstoppable Wasp, Doctor Strange, Shuri, and Okoye. Outside of the die-hard Marvel fans, there's a new amazing age to be a fan of comics and meet all the newer Marvel Comics heroes. And among this new age of Marvel Comics, Miles Morales and Kamala Khan aren't just part of the newer generation of superheroes. One of the good things Marvel does is to present a new character that proudly carries out the names of their predecessors. However, they do it differently. For instance, Miles Morales and Kamala Khan are not like their namesakes, and that's what makes them special and unique in their own way. Which is also the case for Riri Williams, aka Ironheart, 
which took over as Iron Man in the Marvel comics. Riri was still Ironheart, but represented her predecessor with his red and yellow. And while the two have around the same superpower, the two of them could not be more different. To start things off, they were not raised the same, nor do they have the same attitude and approach to saving people. So all in all, you can see that the series itself will try to play with the entire thing, us seeing the next generation with still resemblances to the previous generation and Riri reminding us of the one that started it all, Tony Stark, with some friends of his life helping the young gun. We're looking at you, War Machine. The upcoming debut of Riri Williams will probably come in the Black Panther sequel, with potential rumors of actress Dominique Thorne joining the movie. We could very well see Riri Williams, how she connects to the Wakandan tribe, but also to Shuri and the dynamic the two will probably have even after the events of Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. With Shuri probably being there to pay her debt and help out Riri on her own turf, chasing yet another villain. I can't wait to see what kind of update you make to your ceremonial outfits. There's also the constant debate of who the smartest people of the Marvel Universe mostly revolves around the likes of Reed Richards, Tony Stark, and Victor Von Doom. The top three most of the time, However, one of the best things about this new character is just how smart she is, also ranking high up the list. So it'll be an interesting thing to see her way of thinking and what kind of solutions she'll have to all the problems thrown her way. And last but not the least, the armor, the red and yellow loom is an easily recognizable suit, of course. It's Iron Man, who else? And although Riri's Ironheart look was based on Tony's Iron Man suit as the comics were getting released, the armor also evolved into her own with her new colors including black, yellow, and pink, with the suit itself looking very differently on the outside as well. A minor but recognizable change is the chest beam, which is above Riri's heart. Slightly altered to Iron Man's, a noticeable difference for sure. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the character? And where do you see the character fit in the entire MCU? As part of the group champions, following the story of the comics, or there's another team in which you'd like to see her. But also don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.